Hello everyone and welcome back to some more Sky Factory 2. Still waiting on Sky Factory 2.5 as always. Please do let me know if that does come out because sometimes I tend to be oblivious and also blind as a bat. So anyways, what has happened since last time? So if you guys are watching on YouTube, then um, you missed out on what I was originally planning to do, a Solar Flux episode. And I was going to try to make these guys into like the highest tiers or make like a whole bunch of them. And basically what ended up happening was I realized after a certain point it was just taking a long, long time. So instead we have a whole bunch of these solar panel 2s, we got some solar panel, or one solar panel, one over there, and these two solar panel 4s. Now, you may notice that the energy is there, and these got, oh wow, even this one got, cool. So these are all helping each other out with power generation, and they're all kind of just cruising. We now have an energy surplus for the first time in a long time. Now they will not survive the night, I will say that, but... In exchange for not being able to survive the night, they do actually, as long as I sleep in the bed, they will create a surplus of energy during the day. So as long as I do that, these things are going to keep on producing. Now, this other thing that ended up happening was that we ended up getting this efficiency to the point where we now have a lot of stuff. Now, we have a lot of aluminum and a lot of iron and a lot of coal and flint. But also, we got some charged surface quartz in there. And we even got some ancient spores, which I know some people have been telling me, you go ahead and make these into, uh, or plant these into, I think, grass or something. And it turns into uh, mycelium. But we're going to go ahead and pretend that we don't know about that. Exotic seeds, and not because like I'm trying to be cheeky or anything. I just don't want to get into mycelium right in this particular moment. Um, exotic seeds are something I don't know what they do or have no idea what they are. Um, we also got some yellow yellowium dust, sorry, which is going to be for big reactors, which is the thing that creates ridiculous amounts of power at all times. Quicksilver drop, which I don't know what that is. Amber, which we I think we looked into it before because of a loot bag. Um, and of course, some more lapis. So right off the bat, the first, the very first thing that we're going to do today and if you guys are wondering what happened to the Solar Flux episode, it's not going to be posted because it just ended up being a long grind that nothing really happened in. Um, but we are going to go ahead and start today off, actually, not with this. We're going to start things off by making our little buddy here. Let me go ahead and uh, wait. There it is. So currently, what is it here? Is this this? No, it's not this. Is it this? maybe but anyways we're going to go ahead and make a tool forge so the tool forge is going to be our tool station some seared bricks and some blocks of iron so a little bit on the pricey side but i think very much well worth it um and we are oh gosh <laughs> i completely forgot <laughs> we don't have, oh no i don't think i have the seared bricks we need for this do i i know i made some i made some extra i know i did do that I just don't know if... I saw that one seared brick, but we're going to need far more than one seared brick. Cry every time. All right, so we're going to go ahead and have to make ourselves some more seared bricks because obviously you need them. Um, but we are going to go ahead and take this tool station right here. We're going to rip it up. And I'm going to go ahead. And we also have enough iron for this. We have more than enough iron, if anything. So let me go ahead... Do I have iron in here anymore? I do not. Interesting. Okay. Um, wow, hot dang. We actually might need to... Wow, okay. <laughs> we, we actually need to go make more. That is crazy. I did not think we needed to do that. All right, so we need to make some seared bricks. These are going to require four of these guys. This is made from grout. Grout is made from combination of clay and all this other stuff now because of the way this is going to work out i do need of course to make what technically i'm going to need 15 15 question mark <laughs> i think i'm going to need 15 um things of everything else so let me go ahead and take i'm going to go up scon some stuff from here i'm going to go steal i'm going to go steal some sand very nice all right we're going to steal some sand here and we're going to go put these down all right, and I think I'm okay with that number there. Whoop, wrong one. Bang, that's gonna make this into dust. And then dust, I'm gonna have to mix that up with water, and then that's gonna make ourselves some clay, and then the clay in turn can turn to grout. So we should be, this actually should be relatively painless. Um, it, it really should be pretty easy to do. So let me just go ahead, we're gonna make ourselves uh, two things of clay here. Actually, no, we're gonna need. Let's do. We didn't do this. We need to do this two more times. All right. So let me go ahead and do that, and then do this. All right. Cool. And then that is gonna give us four clay. With the four clay, I'm gonna go ahead and put these down, and then punch it. Whoop. I know I could have used my matic, but that's all right. Um, and we have 16 clay. Perfect. 
And I don't know why I did that, because I, I don't actually need to do that, because, you know, I'm smart. All right. <laughs> so let's go ahead and grab some gravel. We don't need that much of that either. We just need a little itty bitty bit. So let me go over to the auto hammer, which is absolutely crushing. So we don't have any gravel left. Cry every time. Let's go ahead and steal some from there. All right, very good. And then we're gonna go ahead and make ourselves some grout. And then with the grout, we're gonna be able to make some seared bricks, and then we're gonna be able to upgrade the tool thing. I'm gonna explain why I'm doing this with this timing. I know some people have been asking for cleavers and stuff like that, which I already explained once on the stream, but I'll explain again. I personally don't, this may sound stupid to some of you, but I know cleavers do a lot of damage, but they just don't come off as cool. Like, it just doesn't seem very cool, man. So that's why I'm not doing cleavers. Um, but don't 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 misunderstand me. It's not because I think like, oh, cleavers are, you know, whatever. I just, I, I want to do stuff that I find really neat and just make me feel cool because that's, that's how I like to play games. So that is the game plan here. I also did move the crucible from over there with a torch to over there with lava. I, someone did say that netherrack with a flint and steel on top of it is the best way to go. I'm eventually we will do that but for right this particular moment we are not doing that all right let me go ahead and make some seared bricks and then bada bing bada bang bada boom so there's our four seared bricks and now we just have to get ourselves some iron and lord almighty do we have iron like let me tell you about the iron that we have see the 64 i'm picking up the excess because we actually have this whole these two rows and then this little four stacks of them yep that's all broken iron we also have a, li a ludicrous a ludicrous amount of uh aluminum as well because aluminum is also very bountiful but anyways let me explain to you guys why um and you guys might have just seen it right there let me explain to you guys why we're doing the tinker's construct thing with this timing so one thing that we ended up finding and you know what can i just throw this into there as is i know this is wasteful but you know oh i can't oh bless you oh bless you I did not want to have to keep on hammering and hammering and hammering. I don't know why. We I think we can't afford at this point just to kind of be goobers and just do it this way because we're savages. Um, but as you can see here in the chat, earlier today I was just kind of grinding and I didn't realize how close we were. Trace and Kunai both hit the top tier. There's no god could stand in you or way or and stand the way of you and your trays. You could uh, you take the time to sharpen the dull edges of the blade plus one to attack, and you also notice room for improvement plus one to modifier. So both Trace and Kunai have hit the highest tier of experience. So Trays, there you go. Um, Daredevil also hit that a little while ago, and Kunai is now there. So these guys they no longer benefit. These three no longer benefit from um, any further kind of experience gain or anything like that. So these guys are done. They're they're done. There's no more benefit in doing that. So I was thinking to myself, well, we could go into punchy sticks, or we can finish off the like kind of weapon plans. And by weapon plans, what I mean is by doing. Uh, is that going to be enough? I think we're going to be one short, maybe. We need to go get more iron, but uh, we're gonna. We, so we currently have the rapier to do damage and to do combat with single targets. Um, the rapier, of course, excelling and getting through things armor, which is great because that's that's exactly what you would want to do against like certain bosses. My assumption is that that's going to be really helpful, but it does come with a little bit of a but kind of statement, which is if you um. If you are going to be fighting with the rapier all times, whenever you fight against a group of mobs, especially trash mobs, it's going to get a little bit more complicated. Uh, and because of the fact that that is the case, what I decided to do is I think what we're going to do is have a scythe be there for the AoE, rapier for the one-on-one, -on -one, and thus in order to get the scythe up, we're just going to go ahead and take a crack at those guys in there and uh, just try to finish them off. Now, we also have, as a part of a byproduct of having done a little bit more with the sieving and stuff like that, we have ourselves a decent chunk of diamonds, which I'm going to go ahead and collect right now from these and see what the total kill count is. So 60 diamonds in total, quite a bit, and also a fair bit of lapis, so we might actually go ahead and level up the fortune a little bit more. I personally don't find it very important to level up the fortune any further for um, seeds, and this is going to be actually for... Uh, the next episode because we're not doing that this episode but we will get into um, doing some stuff in terms of getting some other things done but we are we are cruising along we can now get seeds fairly easily um, we can you know duplicate them instead of having to spend like nine billion of one resource to get more we don't have to do that anymore we can just go ahead and just kind of receive the stuff which is nice that's perfect that's exactly what we wanted but let's go ahead and get ourselves this last bit of iron. This molten iron right here is going to be the last little bit I think I need. Let's see here. Oh, yeah, we have plenty of iron. We're going to 
we're gonna go ahead and put some more down all right so let's get that running again and go over to the crafting bench and let's go ahead and make ourselves a tool forge now this bad boy is to unlock the next tier of weapons so um, you can see here if you want to compare go back into the video whenever I looked at it but this tool forge has many more options I can attack with a sign I can attack with a uh, hammer and stuff like that now I don't know if a hammer is going to work in the same way that this hammer works so I'm gonna go ahead and hold off of it because I don't I really don't want to mess with it and discover later on it's like haha that's a terrible idea and whatever else also there's not really a good point in area effect gathering as far as I know because area effect gathering is sort of the point of it's defeated by having a whatchamacallit by having vein miner on so we will see uh, let me go into here and let me see. So we're going to get the scythe here. Now there was also like a crossbow, which is a pretty cool thing. Um, also shurikens and whatever else. But we have some other stuff. Here's the old things in the list. But the scythe, crossbow, longbow, battle axe cleaver, all this stuff is pretty hype. But we're going to go stick with the scythe. Now for the scythe, we're going to need, of course, some different parts that we currently don't have. It looks like hmm, those actually look pretty large. I don't know what those are. They look like these, which are tough rod patterns. Okay, so I don't think we have any tough rod patterns. So, wait, do I? Is that a tough rod? No, that's a sword. All right, so let's go ahead and make one tough rod pattern. I'm also going to need to make myself one of these tough binding patterns. And we actually also need to make a scythe thing. So I'm, I'm actually not having enough of these little doodads. Let's go ahead and chop down a tree. Hello, tree. Goodbye, tree. Thank you for your help, tree. And then take the wood. Make some more stencils. And actually, this should pretty much bring us to right about where we need to be. I left the flint in there because I've been repairing kunai, but honestly, we can probably get rid of that pretty soon. So let me go ahead and take... Okay. Um, <laughs> I completely forgot what I was looking for. So we need to make a pattern, right? Um, where did... I... What? Okay. So let's go ahead and make a pattern... And naturally, I probably went about this in the stupidest way possible. All right, so blank pattern. We are going to need sticks. That's what the other thing we need, we need for this. So boom, whoop, boom, boom, boom. Let's make some patterns. And then let's just go ahead and do this in reverse. And then there we go. So some blank patterns for us. And then let's go ahead and make some more stencils. So we're going to just leave a whole bunch in there so I don't have to worry about this in the future. And then I think that's the scythe pattern. Yep, it is. Cool beans. And I think with that, whoop, with that, we are actually in pretty good shape. So for Scythe, we needed that. We needed two of those. Then we need the binding. So awesome. We have those different parts. I think we can start get or get going on this. Scythe, this can work with Obsidian, Netherrack, blah, blah, blah. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually make the first thing. Actually, am I going to do that? Hmm. I think what we can do is you can still make these out of diamonds and stuff. So we'll see how this works. Um, I think we can do it with diamonds. I don't see why I wouldn't be able to do it with diamonds. Because we're going to try to replace some of our tools here and different bits and pieces with some new stuff. So I'm trying to also do that as well. Um, hmm. Now I know paper is able to get a little bit more um, enchantments or modifiers as well. So let me go ahead and collect some reeds real fast. So reeds, reeds, reeds. I guess we could just do an obsidian head. I guess obsidian would work because it did list it on there as like a main thing. So let's go ahead and let's do paper. I guess we'll do paper for the rods. Yeah, okay, that, that's on a good plan. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do paper for the rods. And then I'm going to do obsidian for the top. And now for obsidian, we have this obsidian essence, which I'm going to need later on for some other stuff. But let's get the obsidian essence down here. And let's go ahead and make ourselves the scythe head with obsidian okay and that clearly did not work so what did I do wrong here what oh I didn't do anything wrong okay so oh it just costs it costs an absolute butt ton okay so that's what happened there it just costs a lot all right so the scythe is there and done um, now we do need the two rods here so I need to actually what's the tough binding what can I use with this I can also do obsidian binding here which I guess we might as well do. I mean, I don't see really why not. So there we go. Another thing of obsidian. So we have obsidian there and there. 
Um, I'm going to be a savage and throw away some seeds, I think, maybe. Actually, yeah, no, whatever. I was about to say the call. Well, we probably could get rid of the cobblestone. Well, never mind. Apparently, nothing is getting rid of. All right, so we need to get the... Where is the tough rod? Okay. Tough rod? Yeah, okay. Tough rod pattern. And I can use paper for this, although it doesn't list it there, which is great. Um, now, I think we need to do it as stacks of paper. I think that is an actual thing that Tinker's Construct forces you to do. Let me see if I remember correctly. Because we did this, I think, once before. Yeah, so this requires four paper uh, per. And I think I've actually been saving up these sugarcane. So I think that we actually will end up needing more than just one. I know the sound is loud. I know. I know I should make a muffler. I know. And like 800 other things you guys have told me. I know, I know, I know. I'm sorry I haven't done that yet. But yeah, that I will do in the nearest future. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Forgive me my sins. But we will eventually do that. Um, okay, let's go ahead and do this. Make a whole bunch of paper. And then just make stack upon stacks of paper. All right, very good. So 16 things of paper. Very nice. And then I think what we're just going to do is we're going to go ahead and put these into here. I do not see it. Do I need more? Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm not entirely sure. Maybe we need more. That's crazy. It's it's that's actually insane if we actually need more than that. Um, I'm, let me. Oh. I had the dust in the sand right here. <laughs> Cry every time. Um, hmm. Oh, and we have another 30 seconds to go until it hits nighttime again. Oh, the struggles of life. Struggles. Darn it. Struggle, struggle, struggle. Okay. Throw some apples into there. And I guess we're just going to have to wait out the nighttime. Um, hmm. Well, shucks. I'm confused. What in the world? All right, maybe it doesn't work with that. Although I, th I could have sworn it works. So I'm a little bit confused. Maybe I just need to put in regular paper and just more of it. We'll see. We shall see in a moment. Um, I think I had some more. Sorry about the sound. Into the tunnel of sounds we go. And then back out. Uh huh. Okay, well, let's go ahead and make some more paper. So paper, very nice. And I guess we just throw in like that? No, that's not really working. Unless it's there and I just can't see it because I'm blind, which, you know, again, possible. It doesn't really seem to be doing anything. I'm starting to think it doesn't work with the tough rod. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and say it doesn't work with the tough rod and that we need to do it with something else. So what, okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and assume that's the case, that it's just not working because it doesn't, it's not compatible, um, which is a shame because paper has like the more room for enchantments, whatever else, but I guess we'll just have to kind of roll with it. Um, hmm. Let me see here. What am I going, these are, cause these are very much tough rods, right? So tough rods, let me just confirm that they, yeah, it looks like tough rods. All right, so we need to, hmm, how am I gonna go about doing this? We need to make this out of something. I don't wanna do it out of just regular stuff though. Um, <laughs> I guess what I can do is, let's, let's, okay, let's first smelt down some cobblestone, which I'm gonna do it this way because this is a little bit faster. So one, two, three. And just smelt those bad boys down, get some stone, and then apparently nothing happened. Oh, okay, no, it just went away and did stuff. Okay, so let's go ahead and take this stone and we will put it into here. Okay, there is the stone tough rod. Now I'm gonna put this, and we're actually gonna make a cast out of it, so. That was very spooky, and I am very glad I did not fall off the edge right there. All right, um, let me go ahead. And I know that, by the way, guys, I know that some of you guys are probably sitting there with, like, your spreadsheets or whatever else, or you just happen to know it. But I know that some of the stuff that we make is not, you know, what would be considered to be, like, the best things to make. But at the same time, we're not doing this necessarily just to, like, go max min right this moment. 
truthfully speaking, PVE stuff is not that important right now, truthfully speaking. So I wouldn't really stress out too much about it. All right, let's go ahead and melt two gold in there as well. Um, it should be good. And then that is going to make the rods. Now the rods are going to be pretty hype, I think, because if we can if we can make it out of iron and stuff, it'll be the first thing that we've ever made outside of just replacing, like we put iron here on trays, and I think we put iron here on just pixie. I think everything else is more or less stay the same. So I'm kind of curious to see how this goes as well. Um, let me see here. Let's move molten gold to the bottom. And I have no faucets. Awesome. <laughs> Can I borrow you? Thanks. And then we're just going to shuffle that around. Make the cast. Alright, very good. And then let's pick you back up. Hello? Alright, there you are. And then not fall off the edge, put that there. All right, and there is our cast for the rod. And then with that, I am, <laughs> that count, why, Joko? <gasps> why does your brain fail so often? Um, actually, we have some seared bricks, so I can just make some more. Okay, so that is going to make us, is it this? Is that what I'm looking for? No, that is for, no, I don't know what I even just made. That was not what I wanted. <laughs> that was not what I wanted to make. All right, so let's go ahead and put the casting channels into here because I don't know what they do. And then let's actually properly look this up to make sure I make the right thing this time, which I need to make these, which is actually a lot easier to make than I thought. All right, so we'll just make a bunch of them. And then we'll just add them like so onto there. And then I'll just leave one for funsies over here. All right, so there we go. Let's go ahead and throw some iron into that. It looks like it could use a little bit more iron. So let's help it on its way. Let's drop in, let's just drop in one more iron. I don't, I can't imagine it requiring that much more. Oh wait, no, this requires three, it requires three. I'm silly, of course it requires three. It required three in the original place. And then we actually need to put in three more for this. So let me go ahead, that is wood. That, that's not, nope, 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 get the fleep out. All right, and then there's another three. Very, very good. Hmm. Okay, all right, so there we go. Now we have the iron melting down, and then we can make ourselves some tough tool rods. Should be very, very good. There it is, starts filling up. And apparently that wasn't enough at all no surely not okay there we go and then that should be it bang and then there's there's one tough rod and then we need to put one more so as soon as that smelts down we should be in pretty good shape here and then we're going to go up there and we're going to go cull all those critters up there that have been just kind of sitting there doing nothing with their selves look at them there's so many that they're starting to glitch out frequently they're all trying to fly out of there all right two tough rods and whoop let's go into here and make ourselves our first scythe. So obsidian scythe head looks pretty cool. Two tough rods looking good and then tough binding and making obsidian scythe and it's reinforced three which sounds pretty hype but and of course we can replace the different parts on here so I'm not too terribly concerned although it does look like this it still has a hundred and one durability which I'm assuming is really what that's trying to say is that it's uh well it has 101, but reinforce is going to make it like unbreaking, where it doesn't necessarily have to take a tick out of it for use. Oh my lanta! That was absurd. We just RKO'd everything in there and it didn't even, it barely, it barely dented the durability on this thing. Holy cow, this thing is hype as fudge. What the derp, are you serious? 
Wow. Okay, yeah, no, absolutely. We're okay, so we yeah, we need to really level this guy up. So eventually I'll get repair. I'll get the mossy stuff, I'm assuming, just like uh Trey's did as well as uh well I guess Q9 didn't, but all the other tools that so far we've made that are kind of used again and again don't aren't consumables. They've all followed the same pattern. So I'm assuming what's gonna happen is that's gonna pick up sharpness, mossy, and some other reinforcement aspects. But that's really cool, okay? That's pretty, pretty hype. That, that we can just like call them really quickly. So that whole process just became a lot more interesting, not interesting, but a lot easier to do. So that is hype out of Skype. All right, well, anyways, that's not all. Today we're gonna go a little bit further even than what we just did, which is pretty crazy, I think, but we're gonna go ahead and take it a little bit further. And what we're gonna actually do is I'm gonna store this stuff aside for a moment. And we need to make ourselves an enchantment table. Um, some of you might be a little bit confused as to why we need an enchantment table, but we need to make our first unstable ingots. Now that's going to require four obsidian, two diamond, and one book, right? So we have one the one book already kind of put aside from a loot bag. Um, we have plenty of diamonds here, and actually we have <laughs> we barely have enough obsidian. So let me go ahead, put this together, and then we have the enchantment table. And all the fireworks are exploding with the tree. So we, all right, excellent. Celebration times for everybody. Now, this is where things get a little bit tricky. So we have a little bit more obsidian here. I'm gonna actually go ahead and call these just so I can replant and have more obsidian because we will need more obsidian. We are going to, we're planning at some point in the nearest future to actually go into the nether. So I'm going to need some for nether portal because we need to get the nether star from the wither. and. We can do it off of mycelium, it's been brought to my attention, um, but I wanna go into the nether and do it that way because I'm crazy and who knows why. But let me go ahead and just replant these real quick. And then we are going to be all that much closer. Realistically speaking, uh, once we do this, the only thing that's holding us back is that nether star and then we can actually um, technically have the stuff that we need for uh, getting the next tier of magical crops and all that stuff. I am hungry. Um, <laughs> Well, monster jerky that we never really did anything with. I will take you all and eat you. All right, let's go ahead and clear that out. We're finally at long last getting rid of these. Long, long last, I've decided that we shall consume the monster jerkies, which I have not done in quite some time. And it's turning night soon, so I should be a little bit more concerned about the timing. All right, so chomp, 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 and there we go. All right, so we just have to wait for nighttime to come because, of course, we want our energy to keep on pumping and all that good stuff. That's crazy. I still can't get over the fact how quickly that called it. I didn't realize the scythe was going to be that ridiculous. That's It's just a little bit... It's not a true AoE, as in, like, it's not like splash damage, but it's still pretty good. It's still pretty darn good. All right, so... Here's the thing about what we need to do now. <sighs> Whenever we do this, it's gonna corrupt the ground, right? So we, we should probably do this in a separate area. But at the same time, I do wanna take one of the critters that has escaped, and I guess parkour sheep. Oh, parkour sheep's still there. All right, so we are gonna need some dirt. And we're gonna need some more, we actually need way more dirt than that, so. I want to need to go find some dirt, which I know we've collected some over the time, so... Where art thou, oh dirt? There you are. And is that going to be enough? I think so. I think we only need nine, technically. Um, do I have any more grass seeds? I do. Perfect. Alright, so... You know what I'm going to do? Yeah, let's go. we're going to do it a different way. We're going to do this a slightly different way than we were all originally planning to do. I'm going to take some cobblestone. I'm actually going to make this out here because I feel like it's a little bit safer. All right, so let me go up. Let me go ahead and build it on top of cobble instead of just doing the just the straight dirt and stuff. We're going to just kind of replant everything and do it that way. All right, risky, risky things. Risky, risky things. Happy thoughts, Choco. Happy thoughts. Happy thoughts about not falling to your death miserably. Happy thoughts, 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 happy thoughts. And when we're done with this, we can just vein mine the whole thing. Um, all right, so this part I'm going to do a little bit differently. And we also need, well, we need redstone dust. I can't, I can't forget that. I can't forget the redstone dust. Um, 
I know we have redstone essence in there, but we also just have straight up redstone dust, so we need eight. Um, that is apples, which I will also take, but not what I was looking for at that particular moment. Um, I need, aha. All right, so let's go ahead uh, get nine of these bad boys, or eight, sorry. All right, eight dust, there it is. And I don't know why I put that away. And I guess we don't need Daredevil right now. I'm gonna keep our weapons out just in case if we have to go weapons hot. <sighs> All right. Now, for those of you who have never seen this before or don't know what this is, to make the division sigil active, you have to put it through. Well, actually, let me just do it this way. You have to put it through the enchant, or you have to put it through the ritual, quote unquote. Um, so, what you need to do is you need to go ahead, take an enchantment table, and put it on a patch of dirt or grass that has a clear line of sight to the sky, and also supposed to be a large amount of dirt slash grass nearby. Um, whatever that means, and place eight redstone dust in a square. These two must be on dirt or grass. So actually, we don't even need to put it on grass. We can just put this on dirt works. Um, once you have done so, find an animal or a mob or player to be sacrificed. The golden lasso can help make this easier. You must wait until midnight. The sigil will glow when the time is right. You must then remove or deactivate any light sources around the area. Finally, when the altar is in darkness, kill the animal or mob when the animal is either on top of or next to the enchanting table. When the time is right, the sigil will become activated, but when you have, um, but you will have to deal with the consequences. So, there we go. I don't know what the exact specifications are, for the dirt, but I'm assuming it's not going to be that bad. Um, but regardless, let me go ahead and try to abscond parkour sheepy over here. Oh, parkour sheepy. Alright. Alright, parkour sheepy. Now you and I, we're going to go ahead and we're going to live over on the edge here. Oh, man. Okay. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, Theo, thank you for the two month resub. Hey, Sheepy, you need to relax. All right. Okay, so someone just said it's 16 by 16 for dirt. That seems really high. Six. Okay. So I'm just going to put down a six by six of dirt for now. Please don't push me off the edge, Sheepy. That would be the worst way to go. Like, actually would probably be the worst way ever. Okay. Ugh. All right, so that's a six by six. Apparently we need more than this, so I'm gonna go ahead and make some more. Um, parkour Sheepy, hopefully, is not gonna make any poor life decisions. So let me just go ahead and break these blocks out. To discourage any stupid behavior. Okay, parkour sheepy, just hang out there. And oh, we probably should have left some light there. Um, that's okay. That's all right. I believe in us. I think we can make this work. All right. So we need to get ourselves some more dirt. I could have sworn we had way more dirt than this in general, because I've been, I've, I have been sort of like in the background, just kind of collecting dirt as we are. So we probably have just dirt lying around everywhere in like 8 billion different chests, unfortunately. There's some more dirt right there. And of course, what we can do is we can just do Earth Essence, I suppose. Although I don't think I really have a good setup for that. I don't think I have Earth Essence Seeds, so that might take a while. We would really strongly prefer if I have enough dirt from here. Alright, so it looks like people are saying it's a 9x9 nine nine of dirt that I require. We put down 36, so this should be enough, actually. That should be enough. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get this onto there. And then we just need to go ahead and head on over. Let me go ahead and get the redstone dust moved. Please don't push me off the edge, cows. I know I've kind of abused you in the past, but... Just gotta be cool. All right, we just gotta be cool, man. All right, let's go ahead and break that out so Sheepy here doesn't get any ideas. All right, so we currently have a six by six. Let's expand this to a little bit more. So one, two, three. 
Sheepy, don't get any ideas, man. Don't you dare get any ideas. We are in a very precarious situation right now. All right, and then... Seven. Okay, so seven, eight, and then nine. All right, very good. Okay, and then that should be good. So we currently have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So that should be the dimensions we need. And let's put this on the center here. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, and five. That should be dead center. And then redstone dust all around it. Very good. Parkour! Ha 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 ha! Not gonna lie, I might have peed my pants a little bit. Um, so <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and whew. <sighs> man, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit stressed. So we are closing in on nighttime ever so slowly, but that gives us the time that we need to, of course, go grab ourselves um, our division sigil. And we might just, I think we're just gonna do one because obviously we only have one thing to sacrifice. I did see that chicken over there, but we're just gonna deal with one for now. Um, and I think we'll be a-okay. Now let me, let's let's read through the instructions one more time to make sure that we are actually in the correct here. So division sigil, let's go skip over to the thing. Place the enchanting table on a patch of dirt or grass. So check, it is on dirt, not necessarily grass, but dirt should work fine. There must be a clear direct line to the sky, which it does, and there must also be a large amount of dirt or grass nearby, which we put the we put it within a nine by nine. Place eight redstone dust in a square around the table, done. And this must be on dirt or grass, done. All right, and then once that's done, find an animal or mob or player to be sacrificed. The golden lasso can help make this easier. You must then wait until midnight, which we're getting, we're closing in on. The sigil will glow when the time is right, and then you must remove or deactivate any light sources from the area, which is currently in spookiness. Um, finally, when the altar is in darkness, kill the mob, uh, kill the animal or mob while it's either on top of or next to the enchanting table. It must be the right, or if the time is right, the sigil will become activated, but you will have to deal with the consequences. So I think we've achieved everything here. We just have to make sure that we kill it, and uh, we have to make sure that we actually, you know, kill it, not, you know, fail and then rip. But let me see. I think, okay, this torch here might, might actually get in the way. Um, so I guess we'll just kind of, here, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. It's okay, we can get it, we can get it, we can get it, we can get it. Okay, and then slowly back on over. All right, and then we just have to put the torchy down uh, here-ish somewhere. Let's see here. Let's keep this enabled so I can see. Is there anything spooky in here? No. We're actually okay in spookiness inside the animal pen, which is surprising. But everything else is good. All right, so. Oh, man. Okay. Fam, this is going to be the moment of truth. This is going to be the moment of truth for us. Um, Sheepy is there. That's all fine and dandy. I'm going to go ahead and make an escape route. <laughs> so we're just going to go ahead, do this, and just go ahead and expand that out a little bit more. And then we're going to just leave it like so. And then with our friend, little Mr. Torchy here, we're going to light that up, and I'm going to stand right here. Now, we have to wait for midnight, and the energy is going to go down. That's okay. The, the, we're not worried about losing that once. We can always regain it. I just I just want to make sure that we're efficient whenever we should be efficient, but we need to do this anyway, so. Ooh. All right. All right, sheepy. You and Trey's, we're going to have a little conversation I might actually punch it a little bit just to make sure that uh, we, well, we, we have to soften them up a little bit, so. Sheepy. Oh, wait. Yeah, that's fine. We'll figure it out. Here. Okay, hold on. I'm going to BRB. Please don't spawn anything deadly. Please don't spawn anything deadly. All right. We still have another bit to go here before it hits that time, but I'm going to actually... Wow, this is cruel. <laughs> this is just cruel. Oh, and a spider spawned on the platform. No buenos. Now, if my player, if my character is close-ish... Um, this shouldn't be nearly as bad a problem. And fudge you. And fudge you. Alright. <laughs> so, we have everything in good order here. I'm just going to hop onto this platform. 
Get the wheat out. Hey, little sheepy. Oh, look at this. It's some wheat. Hello. Are you dumb? You are dumb. Hello. Come here. Yes, you want to come over here? No, no, no. Yeah, there you go. Okay. All right. All right. And then I think we have everything in order here. And now we wait. We wait. I think I think we're not going to soften up sheepy too much because I don't want to risk too terribly much here. But... We will hopefully be able to pull this off without much incident. <laughs> Alright, so all we need to do, all we should need to do is we should just have to kill Sheepy here, and then we're good. Once we do that, we're golden. No, 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 you idiot sheep. No, stop running to the corners. Oh my gosh, here, look. Yeah, look at that. Oh, it's sweet. You're never going to get it. Alright. The sigil is not glowing yet. The moon is still only there. It needs to be above our heads. <sighs> Come on. No, no, no. Sheepy. Eyes on the prize, Sheepy. Eyes on the prize. Come here. There you go. Eyes on the prize, man. Eyes on the prize. No, none of this getting confuzzled stuff. Just stay over there. Just stay right there. Don't move. I have a pointy object and it's pointing right at you. Alright. Alright. Think we'll be okay. I think we'll be fine. I think we'll be in good shape. Man, <laughs> I am anxious. All right, so just a little bit more to go. You know what? I guess I guess there's no harm in it. There, let's okay. Quickly, quickly, run, 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 run. We're gonna go get the other division sigil. I don't think it works this way, but we're gonna get the other division sigil, and maybe we'll be able to get two activated, which would be pretty hype. Um, I don't, of course. Again, I don't know if it actually works that way. I kind of, I'm guessing it doesn't work that way, but here's hoping. Uh, I guess. Do that. Yeah, okay, All right, and then back we go. The time is almost upon us. Oh God, why? Why were there so many mobs? Why? And why was one of them a creeper? All right. Bless, bless Kunai. Bless. Fudge you. <laughs> it's so satisfying. Oh nope, you saw nothing. All right. All right, sheepy. Eyes on the prize, man. Eyes on the prize. Come on. Come on, Sheepy. Pay attention. That's right. That's right. Sheepy, the time is running out. You must come towards me. Yes, okay. <sighs> okay. Guys, okay, it's, it's glowing. It's glowing. All right, it's done. The deed is done. They're activated. And these bunch of cactus faces... Oh, God. Um, so... Oh, fudge! Oh, God! No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. Fudge, 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 fudge! You know what I just realized, guys? I just realized that despite having effectively a billion ar or not a billion armor, a billion iron, I never made myself any armor. Oh no. I'm getting spawn camped by what I'm pretty sure is the world's strongest zombie. And I I don't <laughs> I can't believe it. Of all the stupid things, why? Why are you camping me? Leave me alone! Oh my gosh. And I think the problem is here is that time's not passing normally. Oh wait, it is passing. I literally have to wait until it turns sun time. I, I just, I can't believe. can't believe it's happening i can't believe it it's lagging why what could you possibly be lagging over i'm dead there's no lag to be had here i'm just dead oh god okay maybe what needs to happen here is a lot simpler than I'm making out to be maybe wait do i want to hit that i think i do please don't restart my world i have no idea why you would do that but we're just gonna go to the title screen Okay, single player, Koi Factory. Please be gone. Please be gone. 
please be dead. <laughs> please let there be no mobs in my immediate vicinity. I beg. It's still there. We're fudged. We're fudged. We're fudged. Fudged for all eternity. Fudged for all eternity. Why is this zombie so strong? And why is there a zombie over here? What? What? Who are you, Frank? Fudge! Oh my gosh! The problem is, if I if I had the ability to move, right? If I had the ability just to run right away, then it would be okay. I, I'm pretty sure we could figure something out. But the problem is that it's lagging, and I don't have an opportunity to even run for my life. It's just I literally spawn in dead. I'm, I'm just realized I hit respawn, so I'm gonna die again. There's gonna be like 800 gravestones around me. Why are you camping me? Why? What? What is this? What the fudge even is that? Oh god! It's all because that one skeleton. That one skeleton was like, "Yo, I'm part of Optic," and then just and just destroyed me. Fleet sake, boys! They're so strong. They're so strong. They're so lethal. I think we literally have to wait here for like three billion years until daylight comes. Because whenever we did it, it wasn't even nighttime. It wasn't even nighttime. Can't believe it. This is what I get. Admittedly, admittedly, it's probably it's probably my just desserts considering that uh, we did camp them for five ever and just like you know like you know killing millions upon millions of them. But still, fudge sakes, boys, fudge sakes. Like, why is it lagging so badly? Oh god, they're all buffed. All right, just just hold down forward and run. It doesn't even matter if I jump off a cliff. I just need to run away. It's frozen. It's frozen, and I'm just holding down Shift and W, and I'm hoping I run away. Please, please let me live. Let me, let me. Yes, I don't even care. I don't even care. Yes, follow me. Follow me to the ends of the earth, idiots. Come here. Come here. You won't. You want. You scared. You scared. You scared? You ain't even. You ain't even tough. You ain't even tough. Oh, oh, ooh. That, mm. <laughs> All right, we can do this. Operation. Don't die instantaneously is now officially underway. That should have been the only threat. Why did I get a legendary loot bag? Is that normal? Did the game just reward me for dying a whole bunch of times? Is the game insulting me? What? I Man, Sky Factory sometimes, bros, is weird. It's weird. Oh golly. I don't even want to know. I'm just gonna leave them I'm gonna leave them all to burn. I'm <laughs> just just it just <laughs> I'm gonna let them all burn to death. I don't even give a fudge. Alright, let's go ahead, throw in this legendary bag into here. And we're just going to wait for daylight to just take their toll. And, oh my god, it's just a sea of fire. Okay. Jump, jump, jumpity jump. Bless up, though, fam. Because, uh, can you not spread fire everywhere? Is that possible? Can you chill, bro? Alright. At least our stuff did not fall in some weird place where things would be lost for surezies. Oh, he did have armor on. I'm just crazy. Okay. I can't believe all that trouble because one skeleton decided he wanted to just screw with me. He was like, <laughs> you know what I bet you aren't prepared for to deal with me from shooting you from this distance. And he was right. He was absolutely correct. I can't even fault him. Well played. Well played, skeleton minion. But guess what? I got my division sigils. So who's the real winner? Still probably you. But, you know, sort of me. If you think of it in a different way, um, let's go ahead, equip that, put that one Minicio essence, and just silently cry over our misfortunes. Whatever, that can all just 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 melt away, just 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 melt away into nothingness, guys. Oh my gosh, cannot believe, cannot believe that that just happened. Although we did get both of them activated, so that's actually pretty legitly hype. Oh no, wait, I didn't mean to do that. Get rid of the cursed earth. Yeah, okay, whatever. We're just gonna let it burn. Just let it burn. And then we just have to make sure that at some point we... Well... We can do it. We can we can do this without incident. Here, hold on. Um, let's get Daredevil. Where? No, Pixie. I need Pixie. Alright, Pixie, come here. 
Curse Earth, would you like to burn away any time this decade? Ever? <sighs> Whenever Curse Earth is just so cursed that it refuses to ever go away. Okay, through the fires of Mordor. And then... Oh no! It's too strong. Oh no. Alright, well... Uh, okay, plan B. That's officially my enchantment area. <laughs> That's our official enchantment area, guys. 120% calculated. Totally not what I just made up just now, because I realize that I can't really get close to that. But yeah, sure. <laughs> We're just gonna redo it. Oh my lord. Please. Ugh. All right. <laughs> Dad, come on. I cry every time. All right, let's get some more apples out in here. Oh, we lose all of our slots, too. No. That's bogus. We had so many. What the fudge? That is actually bogus, man. That's bogus to the bogus extreme. All right, uh, okay, so we have ourselves a division sigil <laughs> at the expense of uh, certain chocobos being hurt during this production, but uh, got that, and let me see here, hmm, okay, so we just need to grab ourselves some of this, and then we're going to merge it with some of those, and we're going to get some torches. And we are going to light that place up. Like a beautiful, beautiful area. Alright, so, man, it's still burning! Like, it's literally a sea of fire. It's like, you can't even pretend it's not. It's just a giant sea of fire. Alright, well... Hey, guys, guess what? F7's telling me that nothing can spawn here. What's giving us all the light? I wonder. Hmm. Could it possibly be because of the sheep? Could it possibly be because of this enchantment table? No, probably not. It probably has to do more with the fact that I'm so handsome and in all my beauty, I just have a radiant personality that just lights up the world. No, but seriously, fudge sakes. Like, why? Why are you doing this to me? All right. Let's go ahead and put some torches down like so. That should at least keep things pretty docile for a while. I mean, at least for a bit. Um, we are going to go ahead and rip that torch out of there. And I guess we'll leave that cobblestone path for now. I don't really know. Yeah, we might as well make it into a proper pathway. Here, let's go get some more cobblestone and make it into a proper pathway. And then I think we will get ourselves into a pretty good state of being. So let me go ahead with this cobblestone. And then I don't know why I'm holding on to Obsidian Essence in the first slot. But, you know, fixed. Praise the sun, guys. Praise the sun. In truth, sun here just saved us a lot of agony. Because, man, I never realized how hard that hit. Like, th that actually hits really, really hard. Which I was not expecting. I, I like, obviously, I kind of had an idea. I was like, yeah, Cursed Earth. I thought it just made mobs spawn really fast. I didn't realize that they were, like, you know, like, hulked out super monsters. Like, the fleet, man. I wasn't prepared for that. I wasn't trained for this nonsense. All right, let's go ahead and put this down. And what, this was like two to either side, right? Yeah, so let's put one more layer of cobble here. And... Oh, it's actually flush with that. So that's actually just about as perfect as you can get. All right, cool. So now that that's there, I guess there's not really a point in me holding on to these fences right there. So let's go ahead and get rid of those. And then we just need to make sure that there are torches. And I'm going to line the whole thing up with torches. Just line it up. Except for you. You don't deserve to be there. All right, but the rest of them can just be lighting up this beautiful world. Very nice. And then this is slowly burning away all the impurities of Satan's bum. Because this was very clearly the work of a very, very disastrously went fart. God, it's still not done burning. It's crazy. Okay. Alright, so that is all going to be, I think, in pretty good shape now. I don't think we need to worry about that right this particular moment. But either way, got ourselves a Division Sigil. Um, division Sigil is going to allow us to make unstable ingots. So the last thing that we need in order to actually create... Um... Goodbye.
Goodbye. Um, but the last thing that we're going to actually need for this whole process is we're going to need to get ourselves in the Nether Star, um, and then once we have the Nether Star, we should actually be in pretty much good shape uh, for the rest of our journeys. Now, I don't think we need any more obsidian anymore. I am going to put the redstone back. I'm going to sew redstone back onto the earth because redstone is like you know a, my bay basically. Like, let's be honest, redstone and I have gone ways back. We've always been. We've always been there for each other. We've always been there for each other. Redstone lights up my world, creates satanic rituals and stuff that try to kill me. You know, all this normal stuff. <laughs> all right, so there we go. But either way, let me go ahead. Oh wait, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm not making unstable ingots now. <laughs> no. So we're going to go ahead, and I think that's going to be it for this episode, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, let me actually, before we go ahead and call it there, I'm going to go call the creeps one more time. And then, you know, get my revenge. <laughs> because I made the sun do my dirty work where it's about time that I got some some action myself here. Yeah! Who's tough now, huh? Who's who's tough now? I only have to keep you on top of pointy little spikes on the ground in order to win. But still, I, I still consider this to be a moral victory. Oh. Oh my gosh, this is gonna haunt my dreams. What the fudge, man? Aha! Alright, so, either way, good things, killed some mobs, accomplished wonderful, beautiful things, I think we've done a good good today. Now let me go ahead, just make sure all this is in good order here, excellent, and then we're going to go ahead and run off. Oh no, the fans! What happened? What? Okay, that, it's been a while since I've done that, but weird, it's back, okay. Anyways, neither here nor there. That's going to be it for this episode, guys. If you enjoyed the episode, please consider leaving a like rating down below. And also, if you're new or haven't done so already, think about subscribing to the channel so you can be notified when, of course, I do my next thing. We have a pool of blood in here. What, what do you do with blood? Okay. Well, um... Yeah, so that's that's the episode guys. Bye.